We're talking about what's important to you, your money, your business, your life. This is Boomer's Brain Trust with Johnny Dean and Dinah Smith. Call 877-PLANNER now. Ooh, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thinking stage directions here. <laughs> we'll be back. Welcome. I... <laughs> Professional show business right here. Uh, welcome, Biz TV viewers, once again to the show. <laughs> oh, man. Happy it's Friday, It's going to be Dean. one of those days, just the, exactly the way we all rehearsed it, isn't it? <laughs> all right. All right. Well, what are we looking at this hour? I don't know. Oh, Professor Plum. That's right. We got Professor Plum. We're back in his good graces. He's, he's agreed to return for another day with us right here. Uh, we'll talk first about risk tolerance. That's right. Uh, and how it should play an important role in your financial plan. Risk tolerance. I think Terry Keyes is here today. Is this is this true? All right. Yeah. Terry really? Keyes. Hey. Uh, and the Brain Trust panel of experts is going to dispense more of the good advice. Dinah Smith has some thoughts, tips, and tricks on summer travel, staying safe out there. All that's coming up. But first, we got our first five stories of the hour. Dinah Smith. Shout out to Andy for this story. All right. You may not be aware of it, but according to folks who are in the know at B of A, we are currently in the midst of the great transfer of wealth. This is from the greatest generation to the baby boomers. Greatest generation? Yes. That doesn't mean us. No, no, no. no it's no. the ones that came before. The one that Tom Brokaw likes so much. Yeah. It's a handover of about 12 trillion. Yes, 12 trillion with a K. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of dough. From those born in the 20s and 30s to the boomers, but then see the boomers, that's us, uh, we're going to have an even bigger transfer of wealth to our heirs. And that's already underway. And that one's 30 trillion with a D. That's so, kind of scary, isn't it? That's a lot of dough. It's a chunk of change. Uh, it is. We may talk more about that on our uh, uh, leftover news. Very good. Some stats on that coming up. Uh, retiree health care tab. <coughs> Excuse me. I talked about this yesterday uh, or the day before about uh, the amount it costs a, a, a couple to retire from uh, at age 62 as opposed to age 65. Oh, they right. have to fill that gap. There's a bridge that has to be uh, placed uh, for health care. And it was like $51,000 is what it ultimately wound up costing them. The total health care tab, Fidelity followed this up, says $220,000. They came out again with the annual reminder of just how much it costs to grow old. Uh, the, uh, the, this year's projection, they say, is that couples retiring at age 65 expected to incur $220,000 in health care costs on average during their retirement years. Yikes. It's the same as last year, uh, but uh, most people haven't saved like, you know, $220,000 period, much no. less have that sitting aside for health care. Uh, kind of scary. Uh, speaking of scary, today's Friday the 13th, but it's going to be cool because we have a strawberry moon tonight, my friend. What's a strawberry moon? Uh, it's the full moon for June, and it hasn't happened on a Friday the 13th since uh, 1919. I remember that one. Yeah. So, you know, every month, it, I don't know if you're aware of this, but every month's full moon has its own name. I June wasn't is aware. strawberry. And that's because the uh, Algonquin, the Native American tribe, this was the time of year yes. that they gathered strawberries. And uh, yeah, so tonight, the actual full moon taking place. They got together and decided that June was a strawberry, uh, June, June full moon is a strawberry moon. Wow. Strawberry moon. Yeah. Like blue moon, the and regular... harvest moon, and all those other. Oh, yeah. Lame name. I thought June was a harvest moon. Was that not it? Or no, is no, that June, harvest would be September? Uh, September, October. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. we're going we're gonna to report on this. We'll get right back to you on that. <laughs> I'll sure. I'll put my best people on it. Harrison Ford <gasps> was taken to a hospital Thursday. Uh-oh. After suffering an injury, injury on the set of Star Wars Episode 48 or whatever <laughs> it is. Uh, they're filming this in the U.K., He's, of course, you know, reprising his role as Han Solo. Uh, he was reportedly injured by the door of the Millennium Falcon, the spaceship his character pilots in the original film. No. The door, yeah, reportedly knocked Mr. Ford's walker out from underneath him, <laughs> which caused the 97-year-old actor to wobble and fall. Hey, John, No, no, it, it, it hit him in the ankle or something. But, you know, but it was a door that did it? Yeah, it They was didn't a door. have good luck with those doors on those sets, do they? They don't. Have you? Uh, yeah. we, we've seen the special effects. Injured by special effects. At oh least he didn't God. hit his head on a door. Like yeah, one of the that would be a really good. Anyway, a uh, bunch of newcomers in the movie. Uh, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, and Mark Hamill return. Wow. They're all like in their 80s as well. I have so many jokes I could say right now, and I'm really going to be very nice and diplomatic and say, we'll talk more about this later. Write them down, would you? Yeah. <laughs> Professor Plum comes back with serious financial matters in 60 seconds. 